Hello, everybody. The Warriors pulled out a new play to put away the Wizards in the fourth quarter. This play has been introduced this year by new offensive coordinator Terry Stotts. I call this play Wheel Spain. Here's an example from a few days ago. This play begins like all the other wheel plays. You have a cutter who loops around one screen and then the second screen. However, in the standard wheel play, this is only one half of the wheel. This other cutter will come out and get this pin down screen to maintain balance in the universe and in particular on the basketball floor. But that's not what happens in the, this wheel Spain play. Instead, surprise, this is going to turn into what's called a Spain pick and roll. The top part is like any other pick and roll. So there's the first screen. And now Trace Jackson Davis is going to roll to the basket. His defender is ready to just back off and follow Trace. But when he starts backing up, he suddenly finds Lindy Waters is up in his business. And that leaves Trace free to cut to the basket. Pajemski throws the lob over the top. A nice finish. This play was popularized by the Spanish national team. Here we have uh, Ricky Rubio and also Usman Garuba. Looks like a normal pick and roll. We have the ball handler and we have someone setting a screen. But in a Spain pick and roll, someone else comes to screen the defender of the screener. Here, this second screen makes the defender go the long way around. So it takes him longer to recover to Garuba, the roller. And then there's a nice little passing lane and Garuba with the finish. Okay, back to last night. This is going to start as a wheel play. Steph is going to swoop around and get one pin down screen here and one flare screen here. The normal wheel play would have Buddy taking this pin down screen from Draymond, but instead, surprise, it's going to turn into an instant Spain pick and roll, just add hot water. Here's Trace Jackson Davis setting the first pick. He's going to roll to the basket. Valunciones says no problem, but Buddy Heald comes in with the surprise Spain screen on the back. You can almost hear the shark music. And that means Trace Jackson Davis can cut to the basket. In the meantime, Kyle Anderson's man inexplicably falls down here. He might be the first defender that Kyle Anderson has ever made eat his dust. Kyle Anderson slams it into second gear and goes straight to the rack. Unexpected. That play worked so well, the Warriors want to do it again. You can see Kyle Anderson indicates with his hand that there's a natural cycle of life where nature and the earth remain in balance. And also, by the way, we're going to run that play again. Lots and lots of cycles. <laughs> Honestly, the Warriors were not expecting to do it again. Trace Jackson Davis is supposed to be over here to set the screen for Steph. Draymond is off screen. He's supposed to be here to set another screen for Steph to wheel around. So Steph says, you know what? Let's just pretend. So Steph does a single screen wheel. Trace Jackson Davis, as usual, goes straight into a pick and roll. Buddy Heald is setting a very early Spain screen on Trace's defender. The timing is all screwed up here. Kyle Anderson is chugga chugging. This time the big is sunk in and ready for Kyle Anderson. He is not going to get a slow motion dunk on anyone. So Trace resets the ball, turns this into another pick and roll for Buddy Heald. Buddy with a rather elegant little bounce pass in the pocket to the rolling Trace Jackson Davis. Now there's a three on two in the box. This defender has to intercept him. Draymond Green open in the corner and Draymond has kind of been money from three this year. It's pretty weird. Let's wrap up with a quick celebration audit. Kyle Anderson going up for a dunk, which is unexpected to say the least. <laughs> I like how Guy Santos, Andrew Wiggins, Moses Moody, their mouths literally drop open in surprise. Moses Moody looks like the surprise emoji. Lindy Waters showing some hops. He gets pretty good air on this. Guy Santos blown away. Pat Spencer going for the primal yell. Anthony Melton looks generally positive about the whole thing. And Wiggins going for the classic, I smell something nasty look. Very nice stank face. <laughs> the final touch is Gary Payton the second charges in. He's not satisfied with doing a that was nasty face. He goes all the way into, I smell something nasty and I demand to see the manager. Oh, Gary. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And if you didn't enjoy this video, I promise I'll do better next time.